Hey, what's going on everyone? Happy October 1st, 2024. This is a line fire update from the fact sheet of what's going on. This fact sheet was released a little bit ago today on October 1st. We'll start with the evacuation orders. Angeles Oaks and Seven Oaks are ordered to get the heck out. And the evacuation warnings is Boulder Bay area of Big Bear Dam east to Wild Rose Lane. The community of Big Bear Lake, including Moon Ridge, Sugarloaf, and South Irwin Lake. So we are going to read you the, uh, the, the effect sheet right now. So yesterday, the fire behavior moderated on the line fire. The most active area was the Santa Ana River drainage with fire moving up the drainage to Sand Creek on the north and also near the community of Pinzanita. The fire burned to the community of Pinesanita, but all the residential stru structures were saved. Woo! With quick action by firefighters. Heck yeah. Six night flying helicopters were dropping water in Angeles Oaks area. The fire is active in Angeles Oaks and burned up to Highway 38 just north of Angeles Oaks. There was spotting across Highway 38, but all the spots were extinguished. Suppression operations are planned in the Angeles Oaks community today. Angeles Oaks was placed under an evacuation order yesterday for the safety of the community. Crews continue to, to go direct with the fire in Bear and Siberia Creek drainage when safe to do so in this very, very steep area. The western and southern perimeters of the fire remain in patrol and monitor status. So that's what we got going on, guys. As you can see, this is, this is the view from uh, Sugarloaf area. So right now we're at the Big Bear High School and we're gonna cruise around to uh, get some, some views of this thing. It's amazing how close this thing has gotten though. Just amazing, but I think we're, I think we're, I think we're gonna be okay. They're, they're kicking butt out there right now. So anyway, let's go cruise around. Okay, so we're on the total opposite end of town. We're gonna work our way as close to the fire as we can get, but we are as, pretty much as far away in the Big Bear Valley as, as as you can get. But a town just near us here in Baldwin Lake, Irwin Lake, South Irwin is on an evacuation warning. So this, this fire is massive. So this is, this is what it looks like from right here. It doesn't look too threatening, too crazy from right here. Sure is a beautiful area out here. They wouldn't really have to worry too much out here, I don't think. But yeah, as we get closer and some better views, I will pop the camera on. And thank all of you who have been so generous in, in sending super thanks messages to uh, help out. I really appreciate that. I really, really, really appreciate that. It's very, very selfless and extremely helpful. So, and just a quick note on that, just so you guys know, YouTube takes 30% of any donations. It's just ridiculous. Like it's, it's so wrong. <laughs> it's so wrong what they do. Um, I have a Venmo and a cash app. If anyone's super inclined, it's in the description of the video. Um, again, thank you very, very, very much. And uh, yeah, let's get this, this darn fire out, you firefighters. You heroes, the men that I wish I was a hero. Uh, this is gonna be a decent view from way out here in Baldwin Lake. So obviously you can't see too much, but that is as open of a view as we will get. We are gonna get much closer though. We're also gonna take a little stroll on the Arctic Circle again and see about uh, see if we can see anything I don't think we'll be able to see much over there because it's gone so so far down so down meaning I think like like west so we'll see but that's what it looks like from Baldwin Lake Here's another view. We're on Highway 18 on the back side. Let me scroll down the window a little bit. Hey. 
So of course it doesn't look too crazy right now. So, you know, but just like last week, we all thought, hey, we're out of the woods. This thing's done. No one was even thinking about the fire anymore. No one was talking about it. So uh, don't let that fool you. I believe that that is because of the wind direction and uh, just other weather related issues why we're not seeing much smoke etc so just remember uh <laughs> everyone up here right now who's watching this just just remember uh, to stay extremely vigilant make sure you have everything ready your important stuff as our friend bob on the channel told us the uh, five p's i think it's papers pills portraits um uh, what are the other two dang it i'll have to I'll have to remember them and get back to you guys. But just the important stuff, have it ready to go. Maybe even put it in your car just in case so you can get the heck out of here right away. Love you guys. And uh, as we get closer, we will turn on the camera. Peace. All right, you can see Snow Summit. It looks like the smoke is right behind that area. And there's our other ski resort, Bear Mountain. Not the greatest view because of the trees, obviously, but... It's so warm up here right now. It's 85 degrees as well. All right, here's probably one of my favorite views in the whole town. And then we got the fire right there. There's Snow Summit on the left and there's the fire right there to the right. Again, the smoke doesn't look crazy, but don't, don't let that fool you. The containment went down to, I think, like 74 or 75%. Two days ago, it was at 83%. But yeah, this is, uh, this is beautiful. Such a beautiful place to be, you guys. I hope all of you come up here when the fire's over and show this town some love. Yeah, I don't think if we go to the Little Arctic Circle we're gonna see much, so I might decide not to do that. And let me rephrase that. Apparently it's called the Arctic Circle, but everyone that I know up here has always called it the Little Arctic Circle. But I want to call it what it is properly. So um, yeah, I'm doing a lot more research on it. I know the Sheriff's Department webpage and whatnot, Facebook page, call it the Little Arctic Circle. I just got to figure it out so I can do the right thing here. All right, this is my favorite view here. My second favorite view in the whole entire town. And coincidentally, the fire is right behind it, so. Okay. So no matter what our weather's doing to deceive us a bit or not, these firefighters are doing a fantastic job. I mean, they are just unbelievable, unbelievable. Thank you all so, so very much for your hard work. And oh my gosh, almost, almost brings tears to my eyes because it's, it's just such a beautiful thing. But yeah, this is it. Any more updates? I will let you guys know. There's a chance tonight. I'll do a night video if. Uh, if necessary but I'm happy to bring you this type of uh, this type of footage instead of what, what we were going through you can see though all the way from right there all the way back there is the fires line you can 
can see the smoke. So it's still massive, but they're taking care of it. All right, you guys, until next time, have a great rest of your day. As I said, if need be, I'll, I'll make a video tonight. Um, I'm kind of seeing a little more smoke pop up as we speak right there. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera. I don't know if you guys can see the aircraft straight ahead as well. I can barely see it and I definitely, oh wait, I can see it in the camera. Right in the middle of the screen, about an inch above the mountain right there an inch according to our perspective. All right, take care guys. Fingers crossed, prayers spoken, hearts open. Kick this fire's butt, all you firefighters and everyone involved. Thank you guys for being so courageous. Just amazing, amazing people.